Disclaimer. The video you are about to watch contains flashing images. Viewer discretion advised. Hello, everyone. It's been a while since I've been able to speak with you. However, I come back with good tidings, and I want to wish everyone a very happy holiday season. In addition, I wanted to also let you know that I have also created a TikTok account, and will be posting there as well as here on YouTube. The links will be in the description, as always. So, why am I here today? It has been a long time since I wandered into the labyrinth, lost myself among the confusing dark walls and impossible designs that escape reality and sanity. Lights drifting into hard to reach places, or even appearing before you, only to disappear the next. I know not where Lanius ended up taking me, but I followed willingly, merely to understand. When I re-emerged, I had an idea, a burning desire, a desire that burned nearly as bright and as hot as the fire that had consumed me all those years ago. That burning desire is what I will share with you today. Poetry. Poetry is many things to many of us. As humans, we express ourselves through many forms of media and many outlets. Some of us write, some of us draw or paint. Others pass on stories through word of mouth or the pages of a book. Then some of us craft words, like a smith at a roaring forge. The sweat of our work and effort arrives through the complex and beauty of our own words. Thus, we create poetry. The late Robin Williams, playing the character of John Keating, said it in one of the best ways possible. We don't read and write poetry because it is cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion, poetry, beauty, romance, love. These are what we stay alive for. With that in mind, I will share with you some of my own works, or well, the works of the mind behind the curtain. And these are to be shared with the idea of hopefully someone finding them meaningful, enlightening, and enjoyable. So please, bear with me as we begin the journey through the words of poetry. Lost in the Dark when we are born into the world, the light we see is very bright. Leaving the dark hurts our eyes. We cry with all our might. As we grow, the world becomes clear to the image our parents give us. Then the outside carves its path. Many ways it weaves within us. We see the world in many lights after. Shades of gray or black and white. All we have learned and attuned, we have to solve for ourselves. What is wrong and what is right? For many of us, that journey is a hard road, paved with obstacles called pain and sorrow. For some of us, it's too hard and harsh to bear. We stop it when we can. We cancel. Tomorrow. Others continue on their way the harsh road molding them in one way or another. Sometimes the road is so harsh, we must tread its path alone. Or sometimes we have to have help, the helping hands of others, brothers in arms, soldiers of the world, marching the gauntlet of blood, tears, and pain. Getting to the other side, we find some solace, a break, some peace, and time to refrain. It is there where I hope to meet you. Gathered around as we are now, bonded like fish, hiding from the teeth of the shark. I hope to see you there, in the light that burns brighter than the pain that holds our hearts and minds. No longer led astray, bound together, still lost in the dark. Thank you for staying with me 
and listening to this poem. If you enjoyed it, feel free to share this video or the poem itself with your friends, family, and loved ones. I hope to see you again, here by the fire. I'll be waiting like a good and friendly neighbor. May God be with you. Until next time.